skedaddle soon. That's fine. One more set and you're good to go, right? I think so. All right. Sounds we good. We gotta be somewhere by 10. If you need to hop off at any time, you can do that. But for now, let's uh, let's get this set underway. Both players ready to go. Both focusing. Less. All right, here we go. Both players are ready for action. Ooh, Arconi looking fierce right now. Talking to Chef Dog, getting some pre, pre uh, strategy going in. Chef Dog, go away. They're about to play a set. <laughs> you know, coaching, get out of here. No, no mid set coaching is available. Starting here, game one on Smashville, losers, semifinals, top four. Let's get underway. KK's out. This ought to be a good set. Oh, I'm excited already. A quick start from Marconi, tripping over the banana peel, but not getting any kind of punishment for it. Agent having to, Agent's going to have to wait a lot in this matchup. Bananas. <laughs> Coney rolling behind Agent, getting the grab. Banana combo? No combo, but a great use of it. We catch those. Hey, this isn't Brawl. You're right. This is not Brawl, so the tornado is not as broken as it could be. But it's still a great move to use, especially when you're trying to combo a uh, character like Diddy Kong. I'm trying to use that to land back on the stage. I'm not sure if I agree with that option, though. I do agree with getting the banana out of play. I guess Agent knows the Diddy matchup because he has to hold shield with the banana coming out. Marconi trying to get back to stage now, already at 90%. Agent doing a great job of the waiting game. Air dodging through the ladder combo. Arconi going to have to wait for the next one if he gets another one. Agent opting for the forward throw instead of the up throw. Not sure if you did not sure if you didn't think the uh, up air would connect or not. Forward smash taking out the banana peel. A quick up B, not going to be enough, but a great damage booster. I don't know if you should spam that move, but definitely going for that move is a great idea. That'll do it. Arconi's going to have to wait and be a little bit more patient. He can't keep throwing out smash attacks just to think that they're going to, that they're going to work. I understand if you're a Mario player and you like up smashing, but Meta Knight's forward smash may be a little bit against that, but there we go, That'll taking him the off stock. the top, yep. using the banana dash attack into shuttle loop. Great answer for the first stock. Well, that's gotta be the worst when you try to throw an item and then somebody catches it when they're throwing out another move. Agent definitely knows what he's doing with his item play. I love watching a lot of item players play. I, I love seeing any kind of movement and conversion that items can give. Great catch of the banana though. I mean, you do that. I do do that. <laughs> He caught it again. Arconi needs to not worry about the banana as much when he has it. I think he, I think he'd be better off if he just threw it away. That's like a meta mind game, catching the item your opponent throws at you. Yeah. Uh, I know Shoyo James does that a lot, and in terms of this case right now, Agent's <laughs> been getting every banana that's thrown to him. A slip, but no punishment. Rolling back, trying to find his way in neutral. A dash attack may start a combo chain. Diddy's hands clapping are no match for Meta Knight's feet. Is this the start? Is this the start? Not enough. That will be enough, unfortunately. All right, I'm gonna hop out. Sounds good. Signing off.
A quick payout for fifth place at the moment. Sorry about that. I'm back for commentary right now. Along with Estrella over here in game two. Here to replace 420XX on the microphone. 420XX had to get out of here. Arconi damaging Diddy Kong right here on the second game. Throwing also, the banana away. I'm so used to seeing Meta Knight Diddy Kong just from watching MKLeo counter pick zero when, like Meta Knight. I love watching this. It's set. crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great seeing this again. Uh, I'm excited that this tournament had a lot of diversity with characters. Oh no, definitely. Like this this Arcadian definitely has had like lots of like different character representation. In, not just in the top eight, but overall. That's how it has been. Uh, the last Arcadian that we had back in October was uh, top eight, was all eight different characters. It was uh, Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Diddy Kong, Bayonetta, Zero Suit Samus, Robin, Palutena. Didn't Boo, didn't Boo Bear win? Yes, he did. Party? That's right. And now he's on Michigan PR. Y'all, Palutena is Hive. Man, I, I miss Hive. <laughs> I think it was Hive. I miss it was Hive. Um, the other two players, I forget exactly. Oh, uh, Corrin, and then, uh, not sure the last one at the moment. Anyways, back to this match. Agent, he's like he's doing some uh, banana shenanigans. Kind of getting, kind of baiting Arconi a little bit, it seems like. Arconi's just trying to wait to get any kind of momentum he needs. But forward throw's gonna be enough. Arconi needs to be patient if he wants to, if he wants to secure this next stock. Oh, trip coming out. Arcone, but it's just not gonna get anything off of it. Oh, oh this is straight the through shuttle. the shuttle loop. Oh, he's gotta get out of there. That was four down tilts in a row. Good. Oh, I thought he was waiting for the air dodge, but he was trying to get it. He was trying to catch him in between the air dodge frames. Instead, he caught the uh, monkey flip. I like, I like the idea. I just wish it, that Diddy Kong wasn't shielding, and it would have been a much better execution. The switch up was a good idea, though. Oh my goodness! Wow, Agent racked up, racked that damage up real quick. Arconi was trying way too hard to get the stock. Yeah, he's shaking his head. He knows that he was. Oh, he's, he's no, no way, no sir, no more, no more. No more. No more Arconi needs to get this next game if he wants any sort of chance of fighting QD in losers finals. Oh. Be interesting to see what the counter pick is here for Arconi because did they play Smash World games one and one and two? Yes, they did. Okay. Um, I think Arconi. It doesn't matter where Arconi goes. It's a matter of his his. It's a matter of his mindset. Obviously, no pun intended, obviously. Uh, I've, I've already said that. But it's he definitely needs to get his head in it together so that he can play better. If he's in his own head, then he's not going to be able to play as well as he can. And I've seen him I've seen him do so well against PR players like uh, Rosa, the Rosalinas from Ohio before, as well as Geist, Graham, AC Nub, anybody. It's just a matter of how well he can get his mindset to be. Yeah, it's, it's not even just thinking about like their own mindset. You know, it, it, you have to think about your opponent's mindset too. You have to think about, you have to think consciously, like, what are your opponent's thoughts? Like, what is my opponent trying to do? What is he, what is, what's he been baiting me on? What have I been getting punished on? How is my opponent reacting to it? All these little things, every little interaction matters. Exactly. Every little bit. I think Arconi now is just trying to play the waiting game. And <laughs> four down tilts coming out from Diddy Kong. Happens. And Arconi <laughs> just standing there. I'm not sure what he's trying to do right now. I don't know if it's uh, some kind of mind game, but I, I, I'd like to see Arconi at least attempt to uh, do, a little, really, do a little bit more. But staying patient is always fine. I feel like our, I almost want to say like Arconi is kind of like testing the waters and seeing like how Agent's reacting to Arconi's like choice of doing nothing. But just like standing, I, agree. I mean, sometimes doing nothing, sometimes doing nothing works. Like it does. Sometimes you you do nothing, and then you suddenly like you suddenly reveal a habit that an opponent may have. Yeah. And then you can play around it. Yeah. A but, lot of top players do that kind of thing. But agent right now, he's not feeding into it. He's just not. He's he's still playing his game regardless of what Arconi is trying to do. Arconi starting to get some kind of damage here, but that's not going to be enough because agent's going to take him off the top. Very clean play here from Agent. Arconi definitely having a very difficult time here being able to get anything off on Agent. As he's playing, he's kind of playing, I would say, like strategic. Yeah, I think it's a very good strategy. He's not overcommitting himself, where Arconi seems to be going a lot for a lot more stuff that just doesn't seem to work. 
he really wanted that shuttle loop, I could tell. But yeah, he's reaching right now, reaching for the sky so that he can take Diddy up there with him. And just one good shuttle loop is all he needs. But Agent, knowing very well of the opponent's win condition. There he is, he caught it. He's still in this game. The patience may be working. We'll have to see how Agent plays the rest of this game. But right now, oh wow, the trip getting and the roll read. Yeah, getting the roll in with the forward smash. Arconi may have a great shot of getting this next stock. He just, he just can't. He has to play to his best potential right now. He can't do anything that will, that will not work. Great job getting out of there by using the jump instead of air dodging. Oh, I like flip. it. I like the monkey flip. Oh, Dina just goes flying. Arconi's not going to get fallen into that, but nope. he is very, very, very close to dying here and losing this set. He needs to play so carefully, but we all know Rage Meta Knight is a, is a thing to be feared. But that is it. so is down tilt to fair. The clean 3-0 from Agent moving on into Loser's Finals to play QD. See you later, man.